Hi everyone, in my previous video I have demonstrated how out of the box available actionable notifications work in ServiceNow. But in this video I am going to demonstrate how we can configure custom actionable notifications where we can give certain options to the person receiving the notification for example resolving a ticket or doing something else from the chat menu itself. So the scenario which I'm going to consider for this video is when a person working on the ticket puts the ticket in let's say a waiting caller state then caller receives a notification with a resolve option where if the caller clicks on the resolve button then the ticket will be automatically resolved. So let's just navigate directly to the provider notifications and config, configure one of them. So here is the provider notification. Click on new. Let's give a name notify caller. Table is obviously incident. Yes. It will be triggered on update and state is on hold and on hold reason is a waiting caller and the person who should receive the notification is the caller of the ticket and now submit it. So this record is created. Now let's add some content to it. So I'm going to click on the provider content and give some content to my notification. It will be a record card, then incident number, short description, and let's include assign to. and additional comments as well i think this should be fine for now and i'm going to give a message over here ticket raised by you is awaiting your response something like that okay so let's submit this one as well now this is only 40% of the work done so far I have not configured the button anywhere which will be available for the caller to click on it and resolve the ticket so let's go to notification actions. I'm going to click on new provider action, virtual agent. And this is the place where all those things will be configured. And here in this topic list, I need to select a particular topic which will run in the back end and finish the job. So as of now, there is no such topic which is available which can complete the job. So I will have to navigate to the designer of virtual agent. And we can finish it later on. So if I filter by ITSM actionable notifications, so there are these couple of 
topics already available for us out of the box which we can use in whatever way we want to use them so for now let me utilize this resolve incident topic and i am going to duplicate this one and i gave it a name resolve incident custom let me just save this one um i don't want to make any changes over here because it's a very simple demo and once it is saved i can publish the topic as well and the topic is now active now let me go back to my provide a notification which i just configured notify caller is the name and now if i go to notification actions i will be able to select the topic which i have just configured is on the ticket open this and here is my topic is all incident custom if i select this one and submit my notification is configured now and let's test it now so this is the user uh, system administrator who configured all the changes now let me log in with the person who has a ticket assigned to him by some other person and he is working on that ticket and he needs some information from the caller and he just puts the ticket into a waiting caller state by adding a comment and let's see how it goes from there so i am logged in as chatin now and this is the ticket assigned to him if i click on this ticket and open the form so these are the comments which i add which chatin added last time and it was confirmed by the caller now he want some other information or maybe he wants to convey the idea that it is deployed something like that this might not be the very genuine case i'm just taking an example of when a ticket is put into a waiting caller state and a notification is triggered that's it so let me see this ticket and a notification should be received in the microsoft teams this so in microsoft teams i am logged in as harshad so the first notification that is received is the one which is available out of the box where a user can send a response on top of an existing comment by clicking on send reply and this is the notification which we just configured ticket is by user waiting your response this notification is received by the caller 
and here are the details incident short description assigned to and the additional comments okay and here is the option to resolve the ticket which is available so if the caller clicks on this particular button then the ticket will be automatically received in the back end so here we have also received one more notification because the state of the ticket has changed this is also out of the box available to us and since there is an action pending on our end this notification uh, came into the front again so that caller can take appropriate action on it and it is not lost because of some other notification in between so let me just click on it and see if our ticket gets resolved in the back end or not so virtual agent says that this ticket is resolved and if i go back to the ticket you can see that the ticket is already resolved now so this was one way and we can do couple of more things this is what i have utilized using the out of the box topic flow which was already available to us but apart from this we can also create our own topic flows and use them as per our own convenience based on the process we need in our organization and a lot is possible so thank you for watching stay safe and take care and don't forget to subscribe